Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Monkey Island 2 Ultimate Talkie Edition where we've just managed to lock Stan in a coffin and picked up this Crypt Key. Uh, now the Crypt Key is going to be very, very important for getting another map piece. So we're actually going to go back to Scamp Island this time um, and go back to the Symmetry. Because we're going to see what this Crypt Key opens up. Um, if I can remember where the crypt is, of course. I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, can we open? It looks like it's been sealed shut. I don't know if this is actually where it is. There's no keyhole. The door's been sealed shut. Okay. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Maybe it's this one. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Oh yeah, we don't green tongue fever. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the crypt is here. <laughs> From memory. Don't think it's anywhere else. We can go up to the graves and have a look. Uh, there's the grave there, which was Largo's one, right? Or Largo's ancestor. Mm. Okay, hang on, let's look at this key. Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Okay, can we... Can we open any of these? Maybe it's this one? Like I said before, it's kind of nice that I can't remember everything that goes on in this game. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Is that one sealed shut? Um... Oh, hang on. Crypt. <laughs> Would help if I actually looked at the crypt, right? Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. There we go. And it even matches descriptions. That's nice. So let's use the crypt key on the crypt. And we'll head inside and see what we've got. This place looks nice, doesn't it? Let's look at all these coffins. It's inscribed with a quote. Darn! <laughs> Good one. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. <laughs> That's a pretty good saying, to be honest. Mouthwash? We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Okay. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. That's gonna be a no from me. Happiness is a warm manatee. Uh, so, one of these is gonna be the one that we need. I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. Yeah, okay, so... We've got a, Hmm... So... Oh, is it this book here? Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Aha. Barney Gout. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Fester Leech. Darn! Old Skunk Eye. <laughs> Old Skunk Eye. Violets are blue. Roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Commander Buttonhead. <laughs> mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Rapscallion. Rapscallion. So it's this one. That's the one we need. Hmm. Hmm. Some ashes there. Let's take some of these. Well, let's look at them first. Ooh, looks like human ashes. Nice. Silty. <laughs> Lovely and silty. Silty. Lovely. Now we're going to take these to the voodoo lady and see if she can do anything to help us. Well, help us out, should we say. I'm not going to spoil it for those who might not have seen it. So let's go to the swamp and we'll speak with our good friend the voodoo lady. Okay, use the coffin. A lot of coffins in this game. I think this particular bit of music might be one of my favourites in the entire game, actually. Alright, Voodoo Lady, can you, uh, can you help us out with this? Back again, Mr. Three Point. We are, yeah. About that voodoo doll. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Yes, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. I mean, it sort of did what it needed to. 
Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. All right, let's see if we can... Can we use this with the voodoo lady? That doesn't seem to work. Back again, Mr. Three. I thought we could just show her the the stuff. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, is there anything that we we need? Potentially. Maybe something in one of these jars. Spider lungs. Spider lungs. Tender touch pirate powder. Prevents stump chafing and eye patch rash. Nice. Don't want eye patch rash, that is for sure. They're unlabeled. Alright, some unlabeled ones. Wart remover. Nice. Alright, maybe we... Oh, do we need a book? I wonder if we need a book. That's sounding vaguely familiar. We might need to get a book on voodoo or something from the library. Let's give that a try. That sounds like something that I might have done before. Where do you want to go? Uh, we would like to go to Fat Island, please. Okay, and let's see. Is there anything under V? Vegetables? Vegetables children will eat. Lovely. Uh, vicarious living. Vices. Vicious pedantry. Violins. Viruses. Vision. Volcanoes. Uh, wallpaper. Voodoo. See recipes voodoo. Okay. Uh, ah. Recipes voodoo. It's going to be back here somewhere, isn't it? Romance. Romance. A lot of romance. <laughs> Recipes voodoo. The joy of hex. The joy of hex. The joy of hex. Hmm. I'll have to remember that. Okay, that could be the one we need. Um, I've had it with this card catalog. So do we have to ask the librarian to get the book, or do we find it? I can't remember. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? Looking for a book. I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Um, do you have the Joy of Hex? Could you find the Joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Uh, I think that might be it I for now. I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember... Silence is golden. As you say, yes. All right, let's have a look at this. The Joy of Hex. I think it's meant for advanced voodoo practitioners. Ah. The writing's way too technical for me. Okay, so maybe we did need to get this first before we go to the voodoo lady. Okay. Well, let's try that then. I have to do something about this wanted poster at some point as well. Where do you want to go? Uh, we'd like to go back to Scab, please. And then to the swamp. And this time, I wonder if it'll work. Hoping it will. I think we might need to get something from the shelf as well, if I remember correctly, but we'll see. Maybe she'll tell us what we need, if we need anything, so. Come on, bats. Stop squeaking. enough voodoo for me. Bye. So maybe, maybe it is a case of finding something we need. Let's have a look at this stuff then. Cat dewormer. Cat dewormer, lovely. What else have we got? Ash to life. Ash to the life. Cream. That's the one. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. Of that's course you do. One of my most Powerful potions brings the dead back to life. Nice. Uh, I'll take it. 
I could do lots of cool stuff with that. That doesn't sound quite proper. That doesn't sound quite proper. Hey, I got a license. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Uh, about that jar I was looking at? Yes. Um, I could do lots of cool stuff with that. I could do lots of cool stuff with that. There are some complications. Of course there are, there's a way. It works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes Aha. before I can mix you up a batch. We've I have the it. ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. Uh, of course. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. Oh, that's why we needed the I book, don't isn't have it? That cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. So we preempted How everything. Many crab scalps does it say to use? Ugh. Crab scalps. 13. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Experimental right. batch. Remember, just a dabble do ya. Okay, well. <laughs> I love this in like a little seasoning shaker. Alright, well, let's head down. We'll go back to the crypt and we'll use some of this ash to life. See what happens. I'm sure it won't be anything exciting. Off to the cemetery. Okay. More bats. Alright, let's have a look at this coffin. And we'll use our new little thing. We sprinkle it on. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that was a close one. Can't forget the chef's hat. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. Oh, um. <laughs> where exactly did you buy that apron? Uh, where exactly did you buy that apron wrap? Stang's previously owned restaurant supply. Ah, this why'd is you a lot. ask? Look, wrap, you're dead. What? Um, you're deader than dirt, your life is well done. You've shivered your last timber. You're the prep cook at the pearly gates. You're two weeks past the expiration date. You're two weeks past the expiration date. I'm dead? Yeah. Green as year old pickle relish. As stiff as a frozen foot long. Cold as leftover pork chops. Lovely. Crusty as a stale bun. Crusty as a stale bun. I'm not ready to die. Bit late for that. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Everyone wants something. Like, you mean, finish War and Peace? Perfect plumps when cooked wiener technology? Produce an heir to the steaming weenie fortune. Pass along your part of the map to Big Whoop. Just straight come out of it. Um, Perfect plumps when cooked wiener technology? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. You may have done, yeah. It's driving me crazy. May have something to do with, um... Did I mention I'm looking for Big Whoop? Did I mention I'm looking for Big Whoop? Big Whoop? <laughs> What's so funny about I'll that? I'll take that secret with me to my grave. You already did. Uh, you have it with you? Great. Oh, you have it with you? Great. You can have my part of the map to Big Whoop, but only if you do me a favour first. Like? Could you check the gas on my weenie hut for me? Uh, I mean, what do you care about it? You're dead. What do you care about it? You're dead. Please? Uh, give me the map and I'll check the gas for you. Give me the map and I'll check the gas for you. Check the gas and I'll give you the map. <sighs> of course. Yeah, of course. Sorry, I've got better things to do. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. Sure, I'll check it. Thanks. Here's the key. Thank you. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> nice bit of de animation there. Well, we've got another key. This one to the steaming weenie hut. 
which just so conveniently happens to be on this island as well. Uh, not woodkit, wood tick, we're going to go to the beach. Because now, you might remember, right at the very beginning of the game, literally the first thing we did was look at the, um, the place over here, and now we've got the key to, um, to get in. Use the key in the door. And in we go. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> definitely have the gas on. They're empty. But, mm, I can still smell the pickles. Nice. Okay, uh, nothing else. Let's just, um... There we go. Let's look at this while we're here. There's something written underneath. It says, remember to turn off. <laughs> that went well. Alright, let's look at the actual oven. It's stuck shut with old grease and pork fat. Oh. Yeah. Nasty. I guess old wrap should have been a little bit better at cleaning. All right, let's head back to him anyway. Okay, back we go. Good news, Rap. Um, we've turned the gas off. You were indeed right, though. All right, let's use some more ash to life. The way it bubbles is weird. Well? Yeah, you left the gas on. Um, you were right. You were right, the gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. <laughs> Lovely. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth. Like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. All right, I got the first map piece. Nice. All right, we got a map piece. Excellent. And that, guys, is where we'll leave it for this episode. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Way Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadim, Paul Leone, Flossie the Sheep, Jonathan Conley, and Chrissy. And I'll see you next time.